Welcome to the first episode of It Gets Weird. Uh, it's it's a podcast hosted by myself, Niall, and my roommate, Kyle. Uh, hi, I'm Kyle. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> so each week we'll be going through and looking at something in the spectrum of weird, whether it's conspiracy theories or true crime stuff, uh, paranormal, whatever whatever it is we that we find interesting in that broad category. Um, this first episode, we examined something called the Dyatlov Pass incident, where some hikers in Russia disappeared. Um, we then kind of, as we're discussing it and figuring out what it is, we're going to go ahead and put forth our own, uh, kind of out there theory of what we think happened based on the various theories surrounding the topic or, uh, anything like that to come up with our own thing and see what happens. This first episode, we do have a guest in the studio with us. Uh, his name is Garrett. And he makes himself known pretty quickly. Um, he's 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 a fun guy to have around. So you'll probably see more of him in the future. Um, and we hope to hope you enjoy it. just so heard it's... our pre-recorded intro that we're doing for this episode which isn't going to be a standard thing but it's um, good it, yeah it's still it's our first thing we're, we're just we're gonna it's fun it's cute <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a real cute podcast guys <laughs> we're gonna talk about death and mayhem it's real cute you oh know? yeah i'm gonna try to keep this peak cute so <laughs> so as you've just listened to the main point of this is Every week we're going to have uh, one person that has kind of a good idea of what whatever our topic of the week is in their head, whereas another person, this week me, um, had, really has no idea what, what is going to happen. Um, so, it, you know, it's going to be somewhat informational, but also kind of just a bunch of people talking and doing some goofs. Yeah, it's going it's to be good. Um so we'll go ahead and introduce everyone. So this week we have three people in the room. Um, normally it'll probably be two or, you know, with guests as they end up at our place. Um, so I'm Niall, and this week I'm playing the fool role. Uh, <laughs> and we have uh, two other people with me. Uh, my other main host, Kyle, is my roommate and Hello. a fellow, <clears throat> fellow weird stuff enthusiast. Um, yeah. And then our 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 friend of for a long time Garrett is in the room with us as well. Hey guys. Uh yes yes say hi. And hey that's hey that's me. Yeah that's that's, that's I'm him. I'm the third weird boy. The boy yeah, is present. Yeah he's, he's actually uh, kind of probably partially responsible for both of us being into just kind of weird events and occurrences. Um. <clears throat> so with 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 no further ado, Kyle, if you want to take it out, take it. Yeah sure. <clears throat> so. We're going to be covering a lot of topics that are uh, conspiracy related or just like plain weird stuff or, or, you know, sometimes like, I don't know, fucked up shit. Um, but uh, today we're covering one that is pretty well known, I think, in certain parts of the Internet. Uh, the Diet Love? Diet Love. Diet Love. Diet Love Pass. Incident? It's not Dat Love. Dat, okay. Diat, Diat Love. Well, Diat Love. I'm gonna butcher names. This I think all of us are gonna butcher names this Fuck entire episode. So that's part of the fun. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. Part I, of, there's no way. What I makes this podcast cute? <laughs> yeah, this will be yeah, really, this really cute. cute podcast. <clears throat> um, but according to um, <clears throat> Wikipedia, uh, it was an event that took the lives of nine hikers in mysterious circumstances on the night of February second, nineteen fifty nine, in the northern Ural Mountains. Uh, and Dyatlov, that comes from the group's leader, uh, Igor Dyatlov, uh, and... Pass was not originally named that. That's, oh, no, that's it was posthumous. Not. It was, no, they keep, uh, they posthumous? constantly refer to it, yeah. That was, yeah, in honor of the, uh, expediters, 
expedit what's what would be the word the explorers? expedition explorers. members the expedition <laughs> members yeah that one yeah. um and they they also constantly refer to it as a elevation 1088 no, it's, to like, it's 1079. 1079. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Man, don't, um, don't fuck I just yourself. read this, so. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you just read this. You should fucking know it. I do know it, okay? You were uh, there. You, watched, you I, watched the process. I was right beside you. I was <clears throat> laying down the floor. I was having a good time. Well, basically, uh, they were all from the Ural Polytechnic Institute, or UPI as we will refer to it. Um, <clears throat> and they were all, they were all like very, they're decently they're, yeah, experienced, they're, they're experienced explorers and skiers and stuff, uh, but they, they know what they're doing. Eight <clears throat> of the nine are in their twenties. Yeah. So that's so important. All young that's bucks. important to know. Yeah, yeah. They're all young bucks except for one member who the is ninth. actually, yeah, he's actually one he's, of the, uh, mysterious ones, quote unquote, the ones oh, yeah. that are, are he's. So we have, we have like two camps on this. There's like the, no, it's the it's all one. Oh, they're all mysterious. Yeah, they're all one. They're oh, I know they're, they're all one team. But yeah. we have like the mysterious people and the, We've the got, like, people that we just that aren't. They're just boring. is it two? It's it's two that they're like yeah. Uh, there's two weird guys that aren't a part of the one of them team. is one of the friends. This ninth guy we're talking about who's not he's 37. Yeah, and they're all like 20. And he 21. just kind of shows up and yeah. says, "Hey, I'm in your team now." Oh. Yeah, so isn't that? I feel like that shows up a lot in TV stuff. It's just it like, does. Oh, yeah, I'm on your TV team now, and I'm gonna just mess everything up. Like, yeah, hey, hey, it's it's me, the weird boy, coming to show up, kind of, kind of coming to fuck things up for you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, continue. <clears throat> well, it, it's it's uh, it gets weird. Um, as <laughs> it gets as to be weird. expected, it gets weird. Uh, so basically. At the end of the day, after like the bodies are discovered, uh, well, they only find I've... they only find a couple bodies at first. Uh, right. It it and, takes them three weeks to find the rest, and then they find the yeah. Three weeks later, they find the rest of the bodies. So I I got this right here. Okay. Is uh before leaving, uh, Igor, Mister Jatlove himself. All right. Says he's gonna send a telegram to their sports club as soon as the group returns to where they kind of set off from. And uh, it's supposed to happen around February twelfth. What was the the date of the expedition? It was nineteen fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, it's nineteen fifty nine. <laughs> um, I don't remember the expedition. expedition is in January at some point. Okay, so yeah. they're they're so this is like a month later. Okay, so they're supposed to say around February twelfth. You know, Igor is supposed to be like, "Hey guys, we're back. You know, everything's okay. We'll be home soon." February twelfth rolls around, nothing. So. You know, everybody's kind of like, eh, you know, people get delayed, whatever, fuck it. Um, February 20th rolls around, and that's when people are like, all right, maybe we should start kind of sending people out to see where they're at. If we can find them in, like, the surrounding cities or, you know, like, what's what's happened? Where's this group? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, so... When they did find the bodies of these uh, explorers... Which, they find them February 26th. Yeah. Okay. That's when they find the first... Uh, well, they, they find a tent first. Find a tent. Yeah. yeah. So, what they find is a tent that, A, inside of it has a broken um, ski pole. What are those things called? The ski pole? The ski pole. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just like a broken ski pole. And what I read was that... They didn't have any extra ski poles, so like why they would break one, who knows? Because um, it was it was intentionally broken. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. I was gonna. Yeah. Th that was. It was like something that they they'd snapped it. It wasn't. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it, it was obviously an intentional break, not like not like a oh I fucked up of... and fell on a rock okay. and snapped my pole yeah, in half. It looked intentional, is what I read. Um, <clears throat> also, the other strange thing about the uh, site is that they find that the camp has been. Uh, cut open from the inside. The tent. The tent um, yeah. has been has been cut from the inside. Uh, when they find the bodies, the official report is that six of the group members died of uh, hypothermia and three of quote unquote fatal injuries. Um, they all died six to eight hours since their last meal. Um. Forensic radiation tests had shown high doses of radioactive contamination on the clothes of a few victims. But what I also read there is that there's a possibility that that's exaggerated, possibly. Yeah. But regardless, there was radioactive contamination on their clothes. 
Um, and there were no survivors of this incident. Uh, so the, the, yeah. the details are very hazy. Um, and there's other things that were kind of like rumor rumors, not really like confirmed true, just kind of anecdotal evidence. Yeah. There was one that was claiming that, uh, at the funerals, they saw that the bodies were tanned. Like, like they looked, they were unnaturally tan Um, and that, uh, their hair was white. Wait a second. Was there like, huh? Is there like a bunker involved with this somehow? No, no, but there, well, that would be part of, uh, one of our theories is there's a rumor that it was somehow involved with, uh, you know, the KGB and and stuff like that. Spooky secret military shit. A horror movie that I watched on Netflix, like, uh, probably a year and a half ago. That might have been based on there. This. There are there are mo- there is at least one movie. There's at least one movie in the Discovery Channel in 2014. Actually, had a uh, a fucking Yeti program about this. Oh yeah, is the yeah. Yeti involved in that's, this? Yeah. Well, and, that's one of the. Uh, oh, was Man. that the group found a Yeti and it fucked them all up? <laughs> that's straight up. That's one of the things that were like, hey, maybe you know, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Yeti Man, fucking I, killed nine people. In the How Euro many mountains. Yeti deaths do you think are there? Are there? Are there a year? I'd say, in the thousands. <laughs> so these Yetis are just like killing. There's a couple, like six people a day minimum. Yetis, we can't let these Yetis get away with it <laughs> yeah, anymore. Hey, yeah, Yeti, we need to stop these Yetis. <laughs> Yetis are a significant problem. Uh, the uh, Vladimir Putin has actually been consistently reaching out to the UN just saying, hey, you know, I understand we have our differences, but can you please take care of these Yetis? The one yeah. thing Putin, like, reaches out <laughs> for help on is Yetis. He's like, man, hey, I know, you know, we've had our differences, but these fucking Yetis, man, are killing hikers every day, and I cannot stand this shit. All, the, all that weird shit going down in Russia is just False it's all yeti operations it's all so, yeti so like so even like dash cam videos of like cars jerking car off accidents the road, it's invisible jerking yetis off the road <laughs> <laughs> jerking the wheel you sure. know you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> you but know those are all yeti you know, those are all yeti involvement there have been rumors that yetis you know have some invisibility oh wow i didn't know that one I, i've heard it that's interesting it's, it sounds like something you made up get fucked um um <laughs> Okay. No, I've I've heard I've heard that theory. You know that that's one of the reasons you can't capture them on film. I'll put this back here. I'm done with it. Um, so to get back to the anyway, actual yeah. topic, hey. um, <laughs> there's a lot of theories. Those that was re- a really basic, uh, you know, description description of what happened. But and, um, there's a lot of weird details. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the women had her tongue and her eyes cut out of her face they're removed yeah it's not it's not they're cut out Um, but they're gone yeah and uh i think another one had just their eyes taken out there's one of the guys has his eyes removed and then the girl has her tongues and or her tongue and eyes removed yeah and all members of the group are like split up um and there's really no record of what happened like they i don't remember when specifically the journal that they're writing and stops but they stop like a month before they die i think yeah, something it's, like that. There's no the, nothing written in the journal beyond like something from January. I think. Yeah, I think it it determines they died like February second, okay. and like the last entry in the group journal I think is January twenty fourth. I'm not sure mm-hmm. on the specifics on that, but yeah, it's well, it's sometime in January. Yeah, yeah so there, there's a period I'm not worry of about time specifics. like like when people kind of stopped taking notes when things started to happen. It sounds like right. Okay, which. That leads into another odd thing is that the there's a tenth member. Kyle mentioned it earlier. Uh, Yuri. Yuri something. Yeah. Yuri. Hang on. I'll I'll find it. Well, he ends up getting sick on Yuri, the trip. Yuri. Yeah. Yuri Yudin. He gets sick and he stays behind. So he's lucky. Or right. he's so it's originally he was, a ten member party. Nine member then. Nine members go up the mountain. Nine members die. The tenth dude got sick before he got. One he person went up. that just showed up randomly and was like, "Hey, I'm a part of this now." And they yeah. pretty much they just said, "Okay, yeah, and, yeah." And that dude, that's um the guy that's thirty seven years old and suspicious. Right. Right, and, right, right. You know. Well, on top of that, you know, he had a military history. Um, there were other weird he's, things. About he's got him. a bunch oh, of total false. There's, yeah, there's a, well, no, it's, <laughs> hey, there's. There's a whole bunch of weird stuff regarding the military about him, you know. Um, and then the other one, like, 
quit a, what they said was a quote unquote cushy job in Moscow. Um, to, to do this, to expedition. do this expedition or something like which it was, was just one of the things kind that of kind of flagged them, and they were like, "What the fuck um, has happened?" That here? like, t- so there's like one of the theories. I'm gonna give you a little spoiler right now. One of the theories is that they were KGB agents and stuff. Something went down. Like people got suspicious. Um, so what we're saying with the diary earlier, okay, that in January it stops. Right. Yuri Yudin specifically remembers one of the guys has a personal diary that he keeps. Okay. When these people are found dead, that diary is gone. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's just, so it's there's no use. trace of it. Okay. Yeah. They're just like the mysterious details in this case just kind of stack up. And I think a lot of the mystery around it, honestly, stems from the fact that there's just like no, no good evidence of what happened. And, and just, like, a bunch of weird stuff. They're all in, like, various states of undress. Yeah, or, or some, dressed uh, up. Like, they've taken clothes from the other bodies that were presumably dead before them and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, worn them. And, like, it's it's obvious well, because just, they've been... common sense. Sure, it is. And, yeah. and that's not as mysterious. Like, it's it's just, like, that's how it you're ended. Getting, they're all separated and, and they die at various times. Yeah, you're getting people who have died earlier and their friends are <clears> returning <throat> to them to get shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, All right. um, one of the guys who died earlier had a little bit of ice underneath him, which suggests that his body was yeah. still warm. Yeah, he was warm when, when he, fell. he fell. Oh, and the really fucked up part about the uh, lady who had her tongue cut out, there was, uh, what did they say, congealing blood in her stomach, which which suggests that, that she was alive when, when her tongue, tongue was cut moved. out. <laughs> All had, kinds it of was, It was like, what, it was 100 grams of blood were in her stomach. Yeah, so something real nasty. Whatever like happened in really her mouth stuff. region, she was alive when it happened. Yeah. So bunch bunch she of, was swallowing blood. Bunch of fucked up shit is wow. what we're saying. Bunch of fucked up shit went down. Nobody really knows. D- two of the bodies showed evidence of a possibility of a fist fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they had like injuries that were injuries on their of hands. A, of a fist fight. Yeah, yeah. So, so people were like throwing down on like the top well, of the Well, at least mountain. two yeah. of them. At least two of them. Yeah, at and least two of the guys got into a fight. That, that seems really like, I don't know, just not like a good idea when you're on an expedition. Yeah, it's, counter, like, it's purely counterintuitive. I, um, I'm gonna start a fucking. I'm gonna start fight. a hike. Yeah, hey, the I'm Yeti. Telling you, the, the Yeti, Yeti was a fucking like. like uh, the it Yetis was, actually run underground fight clubs. The in Yeti Russia. was Vince McMahon. <laughs> Shit. And started a fucking them, like, take it out, take hey, each other out. Winner gets two hundred fucking rubles. Uh, beat each other to death. 200 Is two hundred rubles. rubles even like worth fighting it's, for? It's like eight bucks. I don't know. Damn. So yeah. I, I, Disclaimer: I have no idea what, that, what the ruble to USD conversion rate is. I'll fight anybody. We, for we need a we need like an intern that will just <laughs> we get hey. hey intern. What's the what's the ruble to uh, USD <laughs> conversion hey, rate? Google that for me right now, okay? Right now, or you don't get paid for the day. <laughs> Ooh, one other weird thing that I do want to mention is the fact that uh, one of the bodies, one or, or or more of the bodies, had signs of like some serious physical trauma. Uh, but no, like, external, like, representations of so that So what it is, is that these people have got essentially cracked ribs. Yeah, like, broken ribs. One's got, like, but, a broken skull. I mean, you would have soft tissue damage with that? Like... Yeah, if they were getting beat there was head or something. Oh, okay. So it, it, was, so it was mysterious bone breakages that yeah, were not just weird stuff like represented. that. Okay. Yeah, like, this person's ribs are shattered, but his skin shows no signs of bruising yeah and from all the the many cop shows i've seen i know that's usually the course you know you get you get <laughs> trauma me. on the outside if you get trauma on the inside mm-hmm. right right so for that to happen it's it's, it's a kind classic of it's kind of a trauma e trauma situation a sitch um <laughs> so oh, true. that's that's really the basic like that's the basic thing we don't have to like go into too many there's a lot of decent and interesting details but um i think that was the most you know the weirdest stuff um unless unless you find something okay so baseline we've got 10 people set out for an expedition in russia yeah one of them gets sick and turns back right one of them is a newbie that no one else really knows most of the other ones are friends he, he's not a newbie he's experienced well sorry not newbie to climbing he's newbie, newbie to, to the, the social yeah, circle he's, he's not part of the friend group they they set out in january of 59 oh, 
He's the only person who doesn't go to that UPI. Yeah, he's that's the, that's okay. his biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, that's he doesn't the only go to person. UPI. Okay. That that makes sense. And then he's not so an original out, member of the Ural Sojourners. <laughs> the, the Ural Sojourners. That's uh, okay. that's what I'm calling. It's my band. Uh, so and then they they set out in January, cease writing their diaries, other than maybe the personal one that doesn't ever show up again in the twenty fourth. Found in February 26th or something? February. They're found February 26th. Okay. It's estimated that whatever happened to them happens February 2nd. Okay. All yeah. right. So that's the basic. The gist. The, yeah, the that's gist the of, gist of, of the, the story. story. Now let's get into the, my, to the really fun parts in the conspiracy oh, theories. Oh, we're talking about conspiracies. We've covered Ooh, the Yetis it's been, we, a little bit. Well, like I want to know of. what the actual theory is, but we have talked about Yetis, which... We'll talk about Yetis all the time. I don't care. That that works really well for me. Big fan. Well, of honestly, the Yeti theory is like one of the least plausible things. That's been yeah. Put the so the Yeti it's, one is bullshit. It's just like that's right, just it, Discovery it, like, Channel. If, if we're yeah, if we're like talking about a Yeti, I'd imagine there'd be a lot more. You know the surface level damage to the bodies and stuff uh, there'd be more evident like that you don't it, think yetis essentially are I'm, 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 okay i'm assuming yetis are big hulking motherfuckers so yeah no the the with, with Dyatlov like pass yeti incident is essentially discovery's first go at the mermaids <laughs> oh okay okay that's it's it's them being like oh shit hey check it out and it's total bullshit but it's all it's essentially clickbait in TV so back when clickbait form. was cool. made into TV shows instead like of just clickbait. listicles. But okay, so <laughs> so Yetis, them. while fun to talk about, not not that yeah, likely. Yeah, I think the base idea with the Yeti is just <laughs> just that a Yeti killed these motherfuckers. They, he just and was in there. snacking on them. So that's why that's why that girl's on tongue and not stuff. got no tongue. I would like to point out that the reason it's implausible is because we are assigning hunting skill levels to a Yeti that we really have no idea. They could be very skilled hunters. I'm mostly they, making the argument that it's not the kind of injuries a Yeti would, would cause. I, I I'm feel like... You're, I'm saying you're, you're putting a, a power level on a Yeti. They may be way more skilled and... Having seen a lot of sci-fi films, I feel like that uh, the sci-fi channel, obviously not the genre. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. I feel like the Yeti's much more brutal. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a sci-fi film where a Yeti literally bit a man's face off this is simply not indicative of a yeti nile like okay like this yeti puts this man the front of his head in its mouth and just closes so essentially the front hemisphere of his face is eaten i'm basically picturing a white so for it to just be like hey it, it bit her eyes out and her tongue it's like eh, i don't know that's probably crows <laughs> yeah it's just just an it's army just, of crows a, a right. bunch of crows just swept in was like mm, tongue meat Big fan. I'm basically pic- picturing a white furry version of the Rancor from Star Wars. That's, That's too fair. big. That's too big. Oh, really? Okay. That's, oh, come on. The Rancor is like this 30 is feet tall, man. Yeah, I, I could, oh, I you're right. Got, I shouldn't yeah, have gotten Rancor into this is fucking it, it eats a Gamorrean guard movie. whole. I mean... <laughs> and it picks... But what Luke if it was like a baby hand? Rancor? Oh, okay. okay well, we're, we're, we're talking about Yetis, not fictional creatures from Star Wars, so... Well... But what we're saying here, we're not discussing rancors. We're saying it's that I said it was the size of a but, rancor. Shh, 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 shh. The kind of analogy that shh, God damn it, the kind of analogy that Niall's trying to make here is that a baby rancor would be around, you know, nine or ten feet, the size of a yeti. So who's to say, you know, that a a big ass yeti wouldn't show up, a rancor sized yeti. Yeah, I'm I'm saying that Yetis could grow to the size of a Rancor. I don't see why they wouldn't. Okay, then we're, I, we're, I think we're, I we're, I feel like the wires got crossed somewhere around here. Bit. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's move on from the Yeti because we know it's all bullshit. The Yeti's Yetis bullshit. don't really actually. The Yetis Discovery area. Channel bullshit. I, I Fuck them. I want everything to involve Yetis, but go ahead. I wish. Well, God, I wish. So another theory, like I mentioned earlier. There is the theory that they're KGB agents, and there's some interesting uh, thought process going on with the uh, argument of the uh, KGB agents. Um, you know, like, oh, God, excuse me. 
Cut that. Po- cut that. And yeah, post. Edit that, that out. Your um, you're like erps and like <laughs> <laughs> your, your little leave, your little, your little and noises and guttural leave, instances. <laughs> leave the erps and meeps and shit in okay, there. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, Kyle oh, Resnick. <laughs> Kyle meme Resnick. Okay, that's <laughs> incorrect. Um, the, I hey, not the internet joke meme. The burp meme. Oh, the burp meme. You know, um, okay. So, uh, basically one of, so part of, part of the KGB thing, um, is that, you know, like with, with the whole, like no soft tissue damage or external damage that would indicate their like broken ribs and shit. The part of that theory was that like they went underwent like various kinds of torture, like having large stones or something or boulders like pushed down on their chest, getting like crushed and stuff one of the of one of the guys has a uh, weird foaming in his mouth that ends up yeah. being it's it's kind of similar to i guess there's a type of torture that's used by um a lot of spies i guess apparently so they say that yeah. produces this foaming it's it's something okay. to do with compression of your chest and one of these guys has it oh so like forces air up and bu- okay yeah, right. yeah. Be, which causes be, that bubbling yeah. gotcha it could have been the cause of that. So, sorry, I had to figure out what kind of torture we were there's talking that. about here. They also mention um, this is unconfirmed, but they also mention that some people reported uh, like orbs of light in the sky, as as orbs of light are wont to do, and um, <laughs> you know, be in the sky and be in the as sky they're so wont to and do, get spotted by people. Um, so there, there's reports of that, but like a lot of those reports were out like a couple days after the event. Came. It's it's not that it's after the event came. It's after this is published. All of a sudden, people come forward and are like, yeah. "Hey, I saw but then, fucking lights in the sky." Yeah, man. but then there's okay. also rumors saying that the lights were there in the sky uh, that night, is or, or the night they would have died, which which is unconfirmed. That's right. unconfirmed. Yeah. And then there's also just like they claim that the uh, I guess they came forward and said, "Oh, we were doing missile tests." Yeah, which I which you know, know okay, typical government the, shill Yeah, the bullshit. government is in entirely typical yeah like which, that's that's I, i've seen a lot of movies in my time and if if i've learned anything if it says weather balloon or missile test it's swamp actually gas. alien <laughs> yeah swamp gas you know it, it's usually aliens or or you know it, it's something they don't want us to know about so yeah, yeah. of course you, it's aliens it brings that's, us we back all know. to yetis no oh we're shit. talking no, Sorry, we're, talking, no we're back to yetis but, going, we're well, back no and, and uh, the people will say that the the yeti the lights in the, no this is not about the yeti anymore <laughs> okay. actually all right. All right. All, right. All, right. all right all right all right um all right all right um so it the, they'll say the lights are either something to do with like kgb agents or some shit like that something some government like, like secret a, facility a military test and this Ky- is where the movie that i saw or, comes in right yeah Kyle and i were talking about this earlier and we were talking about with the uh what last year i think the those weird spirals in the sky yeah that that people, ended up being yeah. a missile test did you see that quote unquote yeah yeah uh, quote, I unquote, quote unquote, unquote test. yeah whatever uh, they want us to believe. uh missiles uh yeah, yeah. fucking smoking man over we here. know the real answer sheeple oh yeah we I wake up wake stay up. hey Everyone stay woke up. anyway uh the government the secret facility yeah, so right. it's either a government facility or dun dun dun, it's aliens. Um, it's it can't aliens. be anything else, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, one in of the, the movie two. I saw was an alternate dimension that maybe involved aliens oh, and shit. like a portal in the. Government I think facility. I watched this movie with you. Was, but I, I was watching it with uh, with with Derek. Mm, excuse me. Oh. At our house in Muncie. So is it kind of like the uh, mist? Uh, the no. Stephen King, it, were they? I've actually I've never seen the mist, so I can't. That's I've only a seen the original. Shame. <laughs> or that's the fog. Sorry, the fog. The fog is really good. The fog is really good. All right. Anyway, <laughs> getting. Hey, let's stop that. Let's nip that fucking derail in the bud. All right. Who let's not discuss out? John uh, Carpenter. We were talking about the facility, and you were just talking about aliens, and yeah, yeah. So those those are some conspiracies that that uh, surround that. Um, what are some other details from that? Because I know there's the, other things. There's other various the, things. There's the, like the missing camera. The the. Okay, yeah. In one of the photos, there's supposedly. I couldn't see it. Well, I, I, I saw what they were referring to, but whether or not it's a camera is. It, I don't know. I don't know about that. But actually, that, we there's a show camera you the photos at some point because we do. Oh, yeah. There are photos of like the bodies. I, and, I should look at photos because that would probably. 
be good. Um, it's interesting. We'll, we'll try to post links with the the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a whole. You can see this stuff for yourself and decide whether or not this was actually a yeti attack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. If you're listening to this, I need you to understand this was a hundred percent yetis. Listen, there is the no yeti doubt this, in my mind is out there right now listening to this podcast. I want him to know. Yeah, I want for- you. Yeah, hey, come forward. We're Talk com- to us. Hey, we're coming for you, motherfucker. We know you're yeah. probably in your twilight years right now. Yeah, um, hey. Uh, Listen, yetis live a long time, but he's got to be he's got to be up this, in years, you know. He's got to be yeah, he's got to be up in years now. Age is no thing in the Yeti death penalty. The Yeti the oh, Yeti death God. penalty? The, All right. Yeah. The Yeth penalty. Yenalty. If you will. Okay. Um <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> aliens. Yeah, so aliens, that one's pretty obvious um, where it goes. There's a the, I I would say the most common theory we still haven't discussed yet is the avalanche. Yeah. Yeah, but that's kind of boring, but yeah, that, it's, is, that oh, is one of the Oh, it's kind yeah, of boring, but the, it's, we got to get the boring stuff Sure, out sure. The way. There is there is also a theory that there was an avalanche uh and these boys got fucked up and two girls. Yeah. So where does where does the fight fall into the avalanche? Theory? That's, that's the thing. That's There's a lot of, of bizarre things, details yeah. that just don't match up to an avalanche. All right, so here we go. Direct from Wikipedia, the most trustworthy site on the <laughs> internet. Yeah. <laughs> Evidence contradicting the avalanche theory includes location of the incident did not have any obvious signs of an avalanche. Okay. So pretty pretty solid evidence against. Right. Yeah. Oh, hey, maybe an avalanche happened. Well, it doesn't fucking look like it. Did the avalanche take uh, uh, Yuri? Shmirnikov's tongue? The the avalanche Her, okay. actually covered all of I, I, Yeah, was... hey, defaulting <laughs> to I don't, uh, Shmirnikov's tongue. I don't tongue. remember her that's, name. I just went with something that sounded decently Russian. decently disgusting? No, that's not. No. It's, it's upsetting. <laughs> it's really gross, man. Hey, I, I mean, I, I would go Craven off, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the fucking, the avalanche, Dostoyevsky. the avalanche took Ivan Ivanov's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off, man. Okay, well. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. I would just say, shit. like, you know, Igor Stravinsky or, uh, you know, or, you know, Rock. Some other stereotypical thing, right. No, that's an actual guy. Mike. Igor Stravinsky <laughs> is a composer. Mike. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, other shit, yeah, hey. The bodies found within 10 days of the event were covered with a very shallow layer of snow. So, I mean, so if there's a fucking little avalanche. Little bit of snowfall, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, where's all the fucking snow? Um, over 100 expeditions to the region were held since the incident. None of them ever reported conditions that might create an avalanche. Oh, yeah? Uh, also, segue real quick. That, uh, this is a little detail we haven't mentioned yet. Is oh, that God. I don't remember. For three years after this happens, this whole area is blocked off. Oh, yeah. Oh, so government can... Yeah, definitely government. Government. Yeah. Yeah. For three whole years, the government's like, hey, don't fucking go there. Like... Well, that, cause that, that, never mind. I'm not going to bring it up again. I was going to say that's how long it takes for a Yeti body to decompose. Oh, but, shit. Yeah. Uh, you know. I, I think you might be right. <laughs> or to, like, to find the Yeti body that also died in the avalanche... But was also taken away by the aliens and like the trying, aliens took the uh, fucking there, there needs yeti. To be the, Are like, you shitting grand me? Unified theory for this Dyatlov Pass thing. Okay, there was an avalanche that killed a yeti that murdered a couple hikers, and the government contacted the aliens and were like, "Hey, you got to get this yeti Hold out up. of here." Concept. Yeti is alien. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me. Hey, forgive me for a second. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, yetis are aliens. Yeah, I. What? Well, Why know, couldn't they be? Hey, as, I, to answer me that. Riddle me this. Why couldn't a yeti be an alien, hey, or vice versa? As an established weird boy, um, <laughs> there is an actual, honest to god, like line of thinking that like Bigfoot and sh- big feats makes sense to me. The, the big footed peoples. Yeah, the the big the big bastards, as they call them in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> in, are aliens uh, that there have been encounters with Bigfoots where it seems like there's a telepathic kind of thing where they're communicating with people. Oh, like multiple big feet. No, like a single Bigfoot is all of a sudden in your mind being like, what's up, motherfucker? Oh, like so they're actually telepathically communicating with humans. Yeah. Yeah. And being like, oh, hey, man. man, don't fuck with my bush. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Step off my bush. Yeah. Hey. Hey, man, that's where I get my best berries. Uh, I need you to take so, 10 steps so, back and turn the other way. Step away from this Kate Bush, everyone. So, I mean, it's... 
considering that's a thing, I mean, the Yeti is obviously a close cousin to Sasquatch, the big well, yeah, obviously. Who's to say? You know, the Yeti isn't an alien. I'm going to cut that in post. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> <Leave it in. laughs> Kyle is rubbing his nose on the microphone, everybody. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be kept in or not. I, I feel like it should be. That's That's a cute goof. Oh, my God. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, let's um, move on. Let's so get, what, what were some of the ahead. other uh what were some of the other good conspiracies? Uh, uh infrasound. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, what is this? Cuz they're trying to explain away the uh l- the weird level of radiation in the clothing. No, uh, no, no, this oh, is no. this isn't right away radiation. This is the kind of shit oh, this that This is also, yeah. This is the kind of shit that makes them cut through their tent and like all Go nuts, Oh, leave. like so sound that like drives people crazy. Basically. Right. Yeah, okay. essentially that this little valley, this pass that they're in creates a Carmon Vortex Street, which is a repeating pattern of swirling vortices caused by the unsteady separation of flow of a fluid around blunt bodies. Anyway. Me up. What? what? <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's responsible for such phenomenon as the singing of suspended telephone or power lines and the vibration of a car internet at certain speeds. So it's, uh, it's, it's, okay. it's a physical and simultaneously like sound phenomenon. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's like the Doppler effect. It's it's no, not. not it's all. really not. Okay. Well, that's. <laughs> I tried. Hey, good effort. This is the Doppler effect. Yeah. That hey, this is the fucking Doppler effect, my guy. Okay. No, you guys go ahead and talk. Go on. Yeah. Hey. How, hey. <laughs> I'll continue my dialogue. You just kind of chill in the background, my man. Anyway, what this is is apparently it can induce paranoia in people. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's some it's some fucked up shit with. Well, I mean, there there's a lot of stuff that like a lot of studies that have gone into like various frequencies and and um sound phenomenon that really do trigger various things in the brain and like there, there's a lot of stuff to that. Like the whole um. This is stuff Niles an expert on. He's a eh, sound engineer, like sound boy. He's well, a, he is a sound boy. There's the whole thing about like you know various uh, people. Some people think that universe like. Uh, I think it's like 433 hertz instead of 440 hertz. Like they think everything should be tuned to that because it's more harmonious with nature and there's a bunch of stuff into that. Um, no, that makes sense. And, and it, but, but it, like it, it also has to do with like there, there's some uh, like brain scan tests they've done about it that um, it actually show a difference between music played at standard American 440 uh, versus this like supposed better thing. I think it's 433, but don't quote me on that. Um Anyway, it that but so yeah, there there's a lot of stuff where it's sound does have an actual impact on the brain. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I, I can I can buy this one. Well, fucked up but true, but that may have killed them, dude. Really? Yeah, that was that was what induced this paranoia that caused them to cut out of their tent and all file. Yeah, they all went nuts. Yeah, they go they go ape shit. So like yeah, like that mixed with like hypothermia. Yeah, could could really probably account yeah. for most of this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's one of the that's one of the higher rated theories. Yeah, it's pretty strange though. Um, it is. I mean, whenever you get into weird shit, that's just like, hey, psychologically, there's nothing you can do for this. This is just gonna fuck with your head, and there's there's no out for this. That's weird shit. Oh yeah, it's pretty weird. All right, so uh, another kind of weird theory that's been uh, hypothesized. And this is just to account for why some of them have less clothes and some of them have got a shit ton of clothes. I mean, there there are girls who are wearing like a like multiple shirts, yeah, and like well, four they, pairs they were of socks taken from and the other shit. Bodies. Yeah, right. And so the explanation for this is called paradoxical undressing. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Where, do like, that every you're morning. Hypothermia, you start to feel really warm. Yeah, your body's compensating. You feel hot, and so you so take clothes off. Pulling all the heat from the exterior of your skin and stuff inwards to try to keep your internal organs, like vital organs, warm. Right, and then once that is obviously failing, your body sends it back out. Right, and that's when you start being like, "Oh shit, I'm really warm," and you start taking clothes off, despite the fact you're freezing to death. Yeah, you're you're actually in the late stages of hypothermia. Yeah. And- are probably not gonna, you know, like that's make that's it. yeah, that's not a survivable thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's that's yeah, that's one of the re- that's one of the theories as to why some of them are wearing way more clothes than others. That makes sense. Uh, that's that. Yeah, 
So, roundup of the weird details. Um, the tent was cut from the inside out. They escaped from the inside out. A broken pole. That why would they break that pole? It's intentionally broken. <laughs> to fight the yeti. Why? To fight the yeti. Hey, they broke that pole over yeti's fucking head. That's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's that's my na- my new theory. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> something we haven't mentioned is that there was traces of urine outside the tent oh, yeah. that happened. So, what Kyle and I were talking about earlier was that, um, it was right before the event. Essentially, I guess somehow According they to the some report. yeah somehow they determined that somebody was taking a piss right before whatever happened. So what Kyle, of science. Yeah, so what Kyle and I were saying was like if it was outside whoever was taking a piss was all of a sudden like hey we got to go. Like yeah. s- somebody who was taking well, a piss was like hey something's not right here we need to get the fuck out of here. It's not there's no like immediate evidence saying they went out for a piss and then came back in and was like oh let's go. It was more of a that's that could be what happened because that's, they pissed that's just then kind the of, event happened. Whatever event it was, it it's, is... It's just kind of putting steps together. So we know it's not Man 9 who's trying to kill everyone else and, like, escape. Well, we, we don't we, know. We don't. We don't know. That's the thing. We well, don't. I, I know we don't know anything, but, like, but if, if he's the KJB agent and he's K- coming in K- to K- kill K- these K- guys... K- the KJB. KGB. Sorry, KGB. Uh, <laughs> agent. And he's coming in to, to really just kind of rain down the, these UPI guys... <laughs> He he's wouldn't really be he wouldn't really be peeing and be like, oh, we gotta go. He, <laughs> he would he's he going would out let to them he would and slip like, off like secretly and let them all die. What if yeah. he just really had to go? Uh, fair. What if he was like, all right, now's the time we're gonna fuck with these kids. Man, I oh god, I, got, I gotta do one I really thing. Really gotta piss. Hang I gotta on, do one thing real quick. And like, I don't know, maybe fucking Igor came really, out and was really, like, like, hey man. I don't know if I can kill on a on a full bl- full bladder. <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to take this first <laughs> life and just from the adrenaline I'm going to piss myself. So, I really got to make sure this shit's all something. out. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what happened. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we're really trying to figure out here is what probably happened. Uh, <laughs> through the best of our abilities, we're going to de- deliver the the actual events as we can surmise them. <laughs> we f- so I we think, fucking solved it, Internet. Yeah, hey, we did it. Hey, here we go, guys. Die to love past time out of events. Couple hikers go up to a fucking mount. Couple, there's nine. Piss boy leaves the tent. Yeah, boy goes out to take a piss. Big piss. And he's he's planning on killing. He's got murder on his mind and like, piss out his wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Murder on his mind and piss out he bladder. Anyway, he's out there taking a piss. Guess what he sees down on the horizon? A yeti. Boom. <laughs> we got a hey, yeti. We got bound. some quick. Everyone's gotta leave. We got some fucking quick thinkers here on this podcast. He sees that yeti. He's hey guys. All right, I gotta be forward with you. I was gonna kill you. I'm part of the KGB. Fuck it. There's a yeti. <laughs> There's a yeti. There's a maybe fucking yeti. There's a yeti. Maybe a deuce and a half yards away. Well, the yeti was guarding the secret government bunker, holding the aliens. Right. Yeah. Of course. Of course. The yeti was part of the missile tests. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> the oh. yeti was driving the missile. <laughs> the yeti. Hey, the yeti's in like a fucked up little snow tractor, and he's like, oh shit. I gotta, <laughs> hey, I gotta, I gotta bite this man's face off now because he saw these lights and shit. Oh. And. Mr. KGB doesn't have time to explain his credentials, so he's obviously just like, fuck, man, there's a so really Yeti. this was just a big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah, big yeah, misunderstanding. I was going to say, alternatively, the Yeti's a good guy, and he's just living with his partner, Nature Nathan, in a cottage nearby. <laughs> Nature, Nature Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, we're going to get hung up on that for a second, because uh, that's a good name. And he, uh, does he run like a kid show? Where he teaches children hey, about like the cryptozoological creatures. I don't creatures fucking in know Russian. I don't know why they would call him that. He's Just part of it. the uh, he's part of the KGB's approved programming. Nature Nathan and his Yeti, <laughs> his <laughs> Yeti hands. I don't know, man. <laughs> Excuse me again. His, his Yeti pal. Yeah, his Yeti friend. I don't know. We got the we got the regular Yeti, and then there's Nature Nathan. So is is the Yeti taking second billing? Yeah, but like it's his first job. Okay. So he's got to he's got to work his way and like prove himself through he's the an Russian in, TV He's system. an intern right now. Okay. This was a real life situation and not some sort of like bullshit what I was <laughs> referring to. This is an actual couple. 
like a Yeti and his I, boy. Nobody said it wasn't, man. But, but it's yeah. not a TV show. This is real life. They just no, no like it's they, that they ran their real show. life. Their but nature, Nathan has obviously found his calling. Like, why else would his parents name him? Honestly, that? I keep fucking clapping my thigh. And <laughs> oh man, I think he can be named Nature Nathan and not have to run a TV show. Well, what else is he gonna do? Like, live it, with a Yeti and f- forage for. Do you think fucking? Wilderness. Do you think fucking Ranger Rick was like, man? I think I'm just gonna live out here with my partner. No, he started a fucking magazine for the Boy Scouts. Yeah, but and at the same time, like, you know. Why? Who would call him Nature Nathan if he's living with a Yeti? Do Yetis like? No, Nature. Nature is his first name. All right, this is getting a little ridiculous, folks. We're getting a little out there. This is this is absolutely bullshit. All right. Anyway, let's let's get back to the theory. Was that this Yeti is coming to kill the the kids? Okay, not an actual theory. Our theory. Okay. Our theory. Right, okay. Right, not, right, what right. do you mean not an actual theory? Uh, this is yeah, a real theory. Hey, wait, wait. Hang on. Yeah. The truth. The, uh, yeah, the, the actual So we truth just found out happened. that the Yetis are guarding the secret bunker. Um, the Yetis are gay. Where, where the missile, <laughs> the missile tests, and the aliens with the portal um, are in the mis- are in that government base. And the KGB officer didn't he have has... time to to give his credentials to the Yeti. And that's what that's he what was really just fucks him. Pissing. And, yeah, yeah he, and and that's where hey, the. When was the last time you were taking a piss and you had time to pull your wallet out and be like, "Hey, I'm part of the KGB." Never. Would it be weird if I just said yesterday? It would be. I'd be upset. I'd stop recording this. <laughs> I'd probably go <laughs> home. Walk out. Yeah, <laughs> I'd just be like, "All right, hey, this is too much." <laughs> I was expecting. I, I I can't do this. What? what? No, I, never mind. No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dead honest. Yeah, I lost where I was going with this. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Yeah, hey, maybe you need another drink. Fuck off, man. I think it's because I had too many drinks. No, yeah, I, it's not that good. I need another hey, drink. Niall, yeah, pass me the bourbon. <laughs> I also need to piss. Can we pause? This? Yeah, let's let's cut it I for gotta now. Do a big pissy. and cook. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, yeah. we're back. We had a, a quick, a quick break. Uh, yeah. But we're gonna finish up our unified a drinking theory now. Break. Had a, um, yeah. Ooh, so we left off with the uh, the Yeti that was guarding the base uh, came upon the KGB agent while he was peeing. He was unable Pit to bring out his pissing. wallet to show his credentials. So you, the Yeti was uh, was threatening him. I believe the the Yeti went straight for the kill. The Yeti, the Yeti tried to, but like. There was uh, they, the the group kind of dispersed, right? Because the the, they, the KGB guy had to have like been like, "All right, there's a Yeti coming, scatter." But well, then the, K, the, K, the the Yeti had like honed in on him, right? Excuse me. They uh, the thing about the case is that they all kind of leave. They they walk out of the tent, and it's all kind of single file. Oh so, yeah, that's right. None of the footsteps were like saying. None of the footsteps. Not, they're not a rat. That oh, they were man. like running. It was just they so, kind of they, we'd have they to cut their way out. they cut their way out of the tent and we're like oh fuck let's go so they they cut their vi- like violently cut their way out of the tent and then just kind of walk just out walked calmly yeah that's a that's I don't know how to deal with that information that's hey that's that's that a little that that's a little curveball that we were saving um, for the so does that mean the the yeti is a stealth killer now it's possible I well no not necessarily maybe this yeti shows up he says howdy doody you know. I'm here to yeah. kill yeah. all nine of you. Uh, fucking, I don't remember his name. The ninth, the thirty-seven year old. Oh. The thirty-seven. He shows up. He says, "Hey, I know this guy's with the KGB, but thing is, he failed in his duties, so I'm going to kill him anyway. But you guys are all witnesses, so you know the rule of no witnesses, the biggest crime. He had to uh, take the Yeti out. No, no, the Yeti takes them all out." Oh, the Yeti just, like, takes everyone out. Yep, the Yeti has him march in a straight line. He just kind of takes him out one by one. This is a but, Yeti But don't, massacre. like, some succumb to hypothermia and stuff? Maybe he just pushes him down and Does, hold, it... holds him down the snow for, like, two hours. Oh, man, that's the perfect crime. Like, yeah, hey. Okay, so the Yeti, not like, is massive enough and, like, powerful enough to hold, like, multiple people down in the snow long right. enough and, for hypothermia. And he's he's all built in furry, so, like, he's he's warm the whole time. Right. So, so yeah, like that that's that's without a doubt. You can't So well that that's how the that that's how the ice happened cuz the yeti was warm. <laughs> Thanks. Kyle. 
know? Yeah. Hot Yeti Bod. The, the hot, hot Yeti Bod dot com. That <laughs> Yeti that Yeti's sweaty muscles. The, yeah. the the sweaty Yeti holding these Russian like college students down until they fucking freeze to death. <laughs> that's metal as hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's my next album. Sweet. Uh wow, that was audible on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I need you to pour me a shot, too. Okay, hang on. Come here. Anyway, so... Yeah, let's now, just continue past we're, it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna finish this up here. Does, does all um, this make sense so far, though? I think no. we've really figured it out. Like, I think we've really come closer <laughs> than any other people, including another uh, podcast. What was that name? Lore. Lore? Yeah, that whatever. supposedly tackled Lore. the subject... This uh, month, w- this month, without like we know we haven't really listened to it, but I've I don't think they covered the yeah, theory that we've discovered here. Haven't listened to them at all. Essentially, they can go fuck themselves. I, I, like I honestly, I can honestly say with probably about hundred percent certainty, they have not covered this theory that we have come upon. The, in the this Wiki- podcast. the Wikipedia article said that they were award winning, and frankly, I don't think any of those fucking awards. Hey, you know what? You know what? Other kinds of awards we all got in elementary school? Fucking participation awards. Hey, can I say something that might be a little con? Controversial. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, what's the podcast name? Lore. lore. Hey, Lore. Shut up. Oh man, that's some harsh words spoken by Jesus by, shut by Christ, my, man. My friend here. Just shut up. We're gonna. We're well, gonna I, cover. Uh, really, that's that's like what this podcast is about. Is basically just hey, Lore, shut up. We're it's, gonna cover. It's this, hard fact. This subject, not you. Like, yeah. Hey. All right. So I heard you we guys beat really us to the punch. You know, it's the punch. Um. I'm just going to go ahead and say that's bullshit. I'm going to go ahead and say you guys can all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's hard. Well, well, that's a little uh, yeah, aggressive. We're, we're, it's this a is little a, aggressive. It's a friendly ribbing. No, I mean, hey, hey, I love the guys at Lore. I respect them. Yeah, I think Having never listened to, listened to one of their podcasts. Not, haven't listened to a goddamn word. They're, they're probably nice guys. It's, they, it's whatever. They've got to be. They're, hey, they're award winning. I feel like that. You don't, you don't win awards if you're a shithead. I can't debatable. I can't, I can't, okay. Yeah, All right. I can't yeah. Hey. That theory. Let me. Let me. Yeah. Let me rein that back. But regardless. In. That's, regardless. They're nice. They're nice. Well intentioned. They're people, nice guys. But they did not come upon the true theory. Yeah. That we have come upon. Which is like, what was it again? Let's recap. Uh, that, well, it, it's all about the Yeti guarding the secret government base that these people uncovered. Where they're holding they aliens. Were, yeah, where they're holding aliens slash interdimensional things. Somebody get their face bitten off. And yeah, there's there's a Yeti that. Kills three people, holds six other people down until they hypothermiate. If that's, a f- I'm making that a verb. If it's not, it's whatever. Yeah, it's um, a verb. And then covers it all up with a really weak avalanche, like just a couple just inches he, of snow. He kind of knocks a couple feet of snow around, and I he mean, really just kind of shakes off and like the excess snow from his fur. Yeah, and I mean the the like little. The the scientists and shit come up and they're like, this is an avalanche. But I mean, you know, we don't want to make him feel bad. So yeah. So what you're saying is this Yeti is a mean old cuss. He's a he's a cuss and a half. Oh yeah, he's he's entirely a mean old cuss. Okay, I'm with you. He's a real rat I think, bastard. I think we got into the I think core of the this. issue. Yeah. So we've really uncovered what happened for real at the Dyatlov Pass. Uh, anyway, hopefully, we had a good time on this journey together. I, f- I know we did. If you guys could go ahead and just update the Wikipedia page. <laughs> yeah, if you could just... Yeah, if someone else could... Um, that, if great. you could edit the Wikipedia page my edits. And, and put Kyle Resnick, sole, sole oh, come on. discoverer... Man, he, he put his last name in there. Of, That's, of uh... He's we, acting like he's got a fucking PhD. That's bullshit. But, he, but for real, uh, check us out. We'll, have, we'll, be up all, we'll be putting future episodes up as well as this one. Um, we across, will be editing Wikipedia pages across, as we go. Yeah, we're gonna be. <laughs> um, we're gonna, I have already been banned for we're vandalism. Edit the wiki, but uh, check us out on various places. We'll be putting this up probably. Um, put it on Simpson, and we'll put it up on a on a Tumblr. Or tell, your put it on a Tumblr. tell your friends. Put on a Tumblr. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell, I'm gonna steal something from uh, one of my favorite podcasts. But tell your weird friends. Yeah. We talk about weird stuff. Yeah. Hey. So tell your weird friends. Hey. Thanks. Message tell your me. weird friends on Facebook. Tell them, hey man, I think you're gonna get a good laugh. You're gonna get, you're gonna get a good joke out of this. Tell all your lore your lore podcast fan friends. Yeah. Tell, tell hey, them yeah. fuck lore. Yeah, check, hey, the, check us out. Check this shit out. If your friend has ever recommended lore to you, I want you to tell them, hey, man, eat shit, first of all. Second of all, check this shit out. It's way better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fuck lore. Yeah, and um, tell, get up Four. get up on the Facebook. Get on the messages. Contact your grandma, your grand, granny. 
Get tell on there. <laughs> tell, tell Granny. Granny. Tell Granny, you've always had a good sense of humor, Granny. I think you'd like this podcast and show it to your grandma. Listen, show it Granny. To gran- gram, gram. <laughs> Grandmas and weird friends are really our target audience. Granny, I know you look like a haint before daylight, but I need you to listen to this fucking <laughs> podcast about the Jot Left Pass. Uh. Anyway. I, know, I know you've been rushing around like a hand on hot rocks. Okay, but before we get any more folksy, we're gonna cut this. All right, all right. I I, I got like Thanks. I got ten loaded up in the chamber. Thanks for anybody who might listen. We love anyone that listens to this. Kisses. Yeah. Hopefully.